Beneath the surface of the ocean, a world shrouded in darkness thrives, filled with creatures that are as fascinating as they are elusive. This is a realm of the unseen depths, a place where sunlight dares not venture, and where life as we know it, takes on forms that stretch the boundaries of our imagination. In the vast and largely unexplored ocean depths, life exists under conditions that would seem inhospitable, if not downright impossible to most creatures on Earth. These depths are characterized by extreme cold, intense pressure and an all-enveloping darkness that is as permanent as it is profound. To paint a clearer picture imagine the chilliest winter night, multiply that cold several fold and you're still not quite there. The pressure? It's as if you were carrying the weight of 50 jumbo jets on your shoulders. And the darkness? It's an endless night, devoid of the faintest glimmer of daylight. Yet, in the face of these seemingly insurmountable challenges, life persists. Not only does it persist, but it flourishes, displaying a resilience and adaptability that is nothing short of awe-inspiring. Life in the ocean depths is not just about survival but about thriving in the face of adversity. It's about creatures that have evolved to not merely withstand the extreme conditions but to exploit them, to use them to their advantage. It's a testament to the sheer tenacity and enduring spirit of life itself, a testament that is written in the genetic code of every creature that calls these depths home. So as we delve deeper into this unseen world, Prepare to be amazed, to be astounded, and to be humbled by the wonders that lie beneath the waves. For in the depths of the ocean, in the realm of the unseen, we find not just strange and exotic creatures, but a reflection of life's indomitable will to survive and thrive no matter the circumstances. In the face of these challenges, life in its most tenacious form has found a way to not only survive but thrive. In this realm of eternal darkness, strange and wondrous creatures have developed extraordinary adaptations to survive. Consider the anglerfish, a dweller of the deep sea's pitch-black abyss. This fish is a fascinating example of bioluminescence, a natural phenomenon where light is produced by a living organism. It possesses a specialized dorsal spine that extends above its mouth like a fishing pole. At the tip of this spine is a luminous lure that attracts unsuspecting prey towards its gaping jaws. This eerie glow in the inky blackness is a beacon of doom for those drawn to it, illustrating the deadly elegance of nature's survival strategies. Now let's shift our gaze to the colossal squid, another enigmatic inhabitant of the deep. This leviathan is equipped with the largest eyes in the animal kingdom, each one approximately the size of a dinner plate. These enormous eyes are adapted to capture the faintest glimmers of light filtering down from the surface enabling the squid to detect predators and prey in the murk. It's a reminder that, in the deep sea, vision can mean the difference between life and death. Lastly, we can't overlook the remarkable Greenland shark. This creature is a master of energy conservation, boasting one of the slowest metabolisms among all vertebrates. In the icy, nutrient-scarce depths, this slow-burning lifestyle allows the Greenland shark to survive on remarkably little sustenance. It's an adaptation that makes the most out of minimal resources, a necessity for survival in such a harsh and unforgiving environment. The deep sea is a world of extreme conditions and perpetual darkness, but life as it always does finds a way. From the anglerfish's luminous lure to the colossal squid's giant eyes and the Greenland shark's slow metabolism, each creature's adaptation is a testament to nature's ingenuity. These adaptations, as strange as they might seem to us, are perfect solutions to the challenges of the deep sea. Imagine the weight of 50 jumbo jets pressing down on you. That's the pressure deep sea creatures endure every day. It's a world where the pressure is a thousand times greater than at sea level. The deepest parts of the ocean would crush most life forms like a soda can in a vice, yet despite these seemingly insurmountable odds, life thrives. The deep sea's denizens have evolved remarkable adaptations to withstand this extreme pressure. Take the blobfish for example. This gelatinous creature might look like a grumpy old man who's lost his dentures, but don't let its appearance fool you. The blobfish's body is primarily a soft, gelatinous mass that is less dense than water. This unique body composition allows it to float above the seafloor without expending energy on swimming, and it also helps the blobfish withstand the immense pressure of the deep sea. Then, we have the viperfish, a creature that looks as if it swam straight out of a nightmare. 
This deep sea dweller has a body built to withstand the high pressure. Its flexible bones and minimal body cavities prevent it from being crushed by the immense pressure of its deep sea home. These creatures and many others have bodies that are mostly water. Since water is virtually incompressible, they don't get crushed by the pressure. They also have special proteins in their cells that help them function under high pressure. In the deep sea, the pressure is a harsh reality, but it's also a driving force for evolution. Every aspect of these creatures from their bodies to their behaviors is shaped by the need to survive in a high pressure environment. They've evolved to not just survive, but to thrive under conditions that would be lethal to most other forms of life. So, as we delve deeper into the mysteries of the deep sea, we find life that is not only enduring but also flourishing under conditions that seem impossible. Their bodies, so alien to us, are masterpieces of evolutionary design, perfectly suited to their high-pressure world. The deep sea is not just dark and pressurized, it's freezing cold, dropping to near-freezing temperatures the deeper you go. The cold is not just a condition of the deep sea, it's a character in our unfolding drama, a formidable adversary to most, but to the creatures living here it's just another Tuesday. They've adapted in ways that seem almost alien to us. The secret to their survival lies in their biology. Take for instance the fish of the deep. Unlike their warm water cousins these fish don't shiver and freeze. Instead they have a secret weapon, antifreeze proteins. Yes you heard right. These tiny proteins bind to ice crystals in their blood, preventing them from growing and causing damage. This not only allows them to survive but thrive in temperatures that would freeze other creatures solid. Then there are those that take advantage of the heat from the Earth itself. Hydrothermal vents, cracks in the ocean floor spewing out superheated water, are a beacon of warmth in the icy depths. They provide the perfect home for a variety of exotic life forms that have adapted to harness this heat. One such example is the Yeti crab, named for its hairy appearance. It thrives in the extreme heat of these vents, using the warmth to speed up its metabolism and grow at rates that would be impossible in the frigid waters surrounding it. Or consider the giant tube worm, a creature that has completely abandoned the need for a digestive system. Instead, it relies on a symbiotic relationship with bacteria that live inside it. These bacteria convert the chemicals spewed out by the hydrothermal vents into energy, providing nourishment for the worm in exchange for a safe, warm home. These are just a few examples of the ingenuity of life. In a place where the sun never shines and the cold is relentless, life has found a way to not only survive but to thrive. In the icy depths, life has found a way to turn the cold into a survival strategy. As we've journeyed into the deep, we've discovered a world that defies our understanding of life. A realm where creatures thrive under conditions that would be lethal to most life forms. Where the pressure is immense, the temperatures are freezing, and the darkness is absolute. The inhabitants of these depths have developed unique adaptations to survive. Take for instance the anglerfish, which uses a luminous lure to attract prey in the pitch black abyss. Or the giant tube worm, thriving in hydrothermal vents, surviving without sunlight, converting chemicals into energy in a process known as chemosynthesis. Even the colossal squid, with its enormous eyes, has adapted to detect the faintest glimmers of light in the ocean's darkest depths. These creatures and countless others, tell a tale of resilience and ingenuity. They have evolved to not just survive but thrive in environments that we humans could scarcely imagine. They demonstrate the sheer tenacity of life, its ability to adapt and overcome to find a way even in the most inhospitable of conditions. But let's not forget that these incredible creatures are part of a delicate ecosystem, an ecosystem that is threatened by our actions. Overfishing, pollution, climate change. These are just a few of the challenges our oceans face. It's up to us to ensure that these creatures and the habitats they rely on are protected. We must appreciate the wonder and mystery of our oceans, not just for the sake of the creatures that inhabit them, but for our own sake as well. Our oceans are a crucial part of our planet's life support system, providing us with oxygen, absorbing carbon dioxide, and regulating our climate. In the mysterious depths of our oceans, life continues to reveal its endless capacity for adaptation and survival. What else lies hidden in the unseen world beneath the waves?